If you're a music producer and you want to learn how to make pictures like this, this or this for your music on YouTube, you can do that for free on Canva. Continue watching this video to see how. So the first thing you want to do is open Canva on your laptop, the web browser on your laptop. You can also do this on your phone, but it's better to do on your laptop. So since we are doing this on a video, we are going to come here and click on video to create a blank sheet for us to work on. So click video and yeah, so this is what we have. Let's assume you are a music producer and you've made a beat for people who like to study with music in the background. So since this is for a study video, let's have a girl reading a book. So we want a picture of a girl reading a book. So the first thing we'll do is to come here and come on elements, click on elements, and then you can search for girl reading a book. Enter. So you can see here on the elements, we have graphics, we have photos, you have videos, and you have audio. We're looking for pictures, obviously, but we're looking for pictures, obviously, and we want it to be animation-like. So we're going to click on these graphics, click on see all, and it's going to give you different pictures of a girl reading a book. So we're going to look for the one that we like. Let's see, this one looks good. Uh, this one looks good. Let's just pick the ones that we think look good. This one looks good. Well, I don't know if you can notice that everything here is kind of like a young girl, right? Most of the pictures that is suggesting for us are young girls, like toddlers. So let us change our search and let's change the girl to lady and see what, what comes up. Lady reading a book. Oh, yes, you see, there are more mature lady-like figures here. So, yeah, your search term actually matters. So, let's click this one. This one looks interesting. <laughs> or this one. I think this one would be perfect. So, what we're doing right now is just, like, looking for different um, pictures that look appealing for us, right? I think I'm going to use another search term, lady studying. Let's see what's going to come up. Oh, this one is perfect. This one looks perfect because it's actually like someone actually studying, right? Just a quick note, some of the pictures, the graphics that we are using, you may not be able to use them if you are not paid for Canva Pro subscription. So if you are paid for Canva Pro, you'll be able to use some of these images, some of these graphics, um, like this one right here that has the crown. Anyone you see that has a crown, just know that you have to pay to use it. You can download it and still use it, but the only thing is that it's going to have the Canva logo plastered all over it. So it's better for you to um, have a canva pro account if you want to use some of these images you don't even need to have a canva pro account some of the um, graphics here can be you there are so many graphics here free graphics here that you can also use so we have like four to five to six graphics here on the screen so we have to remove the ones that are not working we're only going to go for one this one going to go this one should go this one should go everything here i think should go because we want someone that's actually studying. So this girl is studying. So we're going to go with this one. So now that we have our image, the next thing we're going to look for is the background. What do you want the background to look like? Is she studying in a room? Is she studying in um, a classroom? Is she studying in a library? Where is she studying? So I think I want this girl to study in a room because most people that are going to be watching this video are either studying in the comfort of their homes or they are in their dorm room. So let's see what kind of background we can get from Canva. So let's come here to elements and search for bedroom background. Let's see what we have here. Let's click on see all. We have this. 
So we're going to go with this background. So we click on this, click on this three icon, three dots here. Normally there will be an option here for you to make that image the background, but that's not always the case. So in the case where you don't have that option, you have to expand the image to fill the screen. So you have to expand the image to fill the screen. So first of all, you can see that if we drag this image on top of our girl, you see that it covers her. So what you want to do is click on this place, click on layers and send backward so she can be on our background. So now we click, go back to click on our background and then we expand it to fill the room. The, <laughs> expand it to fill the room, expand it. Oops, what just happened? Okay, expand it to fill the screen good so you can see that she's here and she kind of matches with the um, background the walls of the room has this purplish vibes so we want her to be sitting we want to make her bigger and we want her to be sitting close to the window right so let's expand this let's bring this over here I think this size is okay. What do you think? <laughs> I think she's okay with being this size. Or do we make it bigger? No, I think she's okay. Let's leave her for this size like this. So what else do we need to fill up our room? Maybe she can have like a shelf or a bed in the room, right? Because the room right now looks em empty. So let's decorate a little bit. So I think maybe we should have a lamp standing in this area. So let's come here and look for lamp. See what happens. A standing lamp. This one has a background already, but there should be an option for us to remove the background. You can only have this option to remove the background if you are subscribed to the Canva Pro. Right now I'm on the free version, so <laughs> I have it. So we took out the background and we see we just have the lamp. So we can place the lamp here. So I'm going to search for shelf here, not here. Sorry, you have to go to elements first to search for your items. So I'm going to search for shelf and see what comes up. So let's see from the graphics area what we have here we have some this one has some books so this one looks like it's going to look good let's see some other ones i'm just picking a few to see how it looks and then i'll decide which one i'm going to take i also think this and and i saw something just now this would look good <laughs> And this will look good. There's so many things here that look good. I'll go with this one. So let's add to the shelf here. Make it a little smaller. Let's add this one somewhere. Just to make it look. Or we can add like a painting on the wall. Let's see what we have. We can add, add this one here somewhere on the wall let's take this out let's put this here you have to have a creative eye for doing something like this you have to like you know just imagine you are designing your room what will you do how would you do it so for this i'm going to like i want it to be at the back of the lamp of this lamp i want it to seem as if it's placed on the wall so what I'm going to do, because you can see now that if I place this here, it's on top of the lamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on this three dot icon here and I'm going to go layer and I'll click on send backward. And you can see now that it's behind the lamp. So I'm just going to make this smaller. All right. So what I want to do now is to add some moving objects. The picture is stationary, but it's possible for us to add things that are going to be moving. Let's say maybe a cup of coffee with the smoke coming out or a cat 
maybe a pet or something like that let's just go do it so let's imagine she has a cup of coffee on the table so cup of coffee we we'll search for cup of coffee here and we can see all these things this one has the smoke coming out i want the one that has the steam coming out that's what i want so this one we could have this one instead let's see which one goes best let's see let's try this I think I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to delete this let's try to search for a bed and see what we come up with see all um, let's see what this one is about or let's search for more I want to add some color in the room I don't know so let's add some moving objects to our picture. The picture is stationary, but we can also add some things in it that, that can move, maybe like a pet or a goldfish in a fish tank or something like that. So let's try to add that. Canva allows us to do that. So for you to get a moving object here in Canva, you have to search for the term, for the keyword. If it's a cat, for example, you have to search for cat and add animation at the end. So for example, I want cat animation. I'm going to click that and I'm going to see cats that are moving, right? They're not just stationary. So we have this. This looks good. So let's add this right here. We can also search for a dog. Let's say a dog moving, dog wagging tail animation and we have this you can see th this dog here wagging the tail this one here is sleeping so that seems like a good one we can have this so i have to decide again between the dog and the cat playing so i'm either going to have the cat right here or I'm going to replace this cup of coffee with this dog sleeping by her side. I think this is good. The dog sleeping, so I'm going to delete this. The dog sleeping by her side. So this looks good. So I don't think there's anything else I need to do in this picture. I think it's perfect. I think it's all right. Everything looks good. It's simple. It's clear. Um, but if you are making something like this you can add whatever you want to add you can play around with canva like i said if you want some moving objects you can search for the object you want and put type animation at the end and you have some moving objects for, for you to select from i forgot to add this important thing so when you are done designing your picture you obviously want to download it from canva and use whatever software you would normally use to add your music to your picture but you can also do this on canva all you have to do is click on uploads by the side of your menu there are different options where you click on the audio option and then you can see all your songs there ready for you to use but if your song is not there you can click on upload files and when you do that you can see your files and you select whatever song that you are working on and then it will be uploaded onto canva and you can add to your music well this is the end of this video and i hope you learned something today so if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to help you with it or if you, there's something you want to know um, on canva i'll be happy to make a video about it just let me know in the comment section or we can have a one-on-one -on -one discussion just send me a mail the, my email is in the description but yeah that's the end of this video thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.